I just wanted to take a uh, quick minute and show you what we've got going on today. Um, we got an old block that's uh, in the machine right now. Just using this as a sole purpose as a demonstration video. Uh, that can a lot of guys ask. You know, you talk about blueprint boring. What exactly are you talking about when you say blueprint boring? And I wanted to take a minute uh, with a video to answer the question. So, uh, and what I'm fixing to tell you is uh, something a process that we do here. Uh, we do it uh, because. Even if you're building a stage one build with us and just the base model engine, what we want to do is make sure that we uh, we do the machining as though you're building an engine, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a race application or what, but we're going to give you the best machining process anywhere. And uh, this is one of the steps that we take. So here we've got a, um, a diagram, okay? And this is a diagram of a, uh, uh, that was sent to us by a manufacturer. Uh, so this is a blueprint of the head gasket. It gives us the bore layout. gives us all the head bolt layout and everything. It tells us where everything should be. Okay? So what we do is we take all these numbers that they've got, that they give you, and we plug them in to our machine. Okay? So let me click off the screen just a second. All right. And these numbers here represent the 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, these aren't numbered uh, like you would, you know, if you're thinking one, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight on a diesel engine, it's, it's not on this. It's, it's this bank right here that we're dealing with. That's on the number one right now. Okay. So, but anyways, these numbers that you're seeing right here, uh, are these numbers interpreted in this in metric and this is imperial. Okay. So we plug these in and we've probed. Now the difference between what we do and what, uh, 99% of the other machine shops do is they use a boring bar which has worked fine for years, okay? But the point of the video is not to say that they're doing anything necessarily wrong, but you can be more accurate. Um, there is a certain tolerance, okay? That it's everything Everything has a tolerance. What I'm saying right now is not saying that they're, they're uh, out of tolerance, but they're not as close to uh, spec as, as what we would be if we did it the way that we do it. So when we're talking thousands of an inch, we want to be as close as possible. So what we do in a case like that is we're using what the factory uh, is, is giving us. So our single datum point is what we're after, okay, which is going to be uh, the, the dowel hole on the, on the block. What we're trying to do is line up our crankshaft so that our crank is centered directly in the center of the bore itself. Now, when you're using a line boring tool, uh, excuse me, when you're using a, a boring bar, Basically, what happens is, as it comes down, and it depends on what make and model, but as it comes down, it's going to have fingers that, that feed out, okay? And they're going to find the center of that hole. And then they're going to bore, and they're going to use this as their X, Y coordinates, okay? So they're going to bore off of this as it feeds out. What we do differently is we take this blueprint that we've got. We find right here that, that everything is based off. That's your zero, zero, right here and here, okay? So the center of that dial pin hole tells us that's absolute zero, okay? So we come in and we probe off this. We come down here and we probe off this to make sure we're square, okay, in the machine. And then what we do is we um, we probe the center of the, of the hole. After we probe the center of the hole, we can tell how much core shift there is uh, off the block uh, because of what the, the manufacturer had intended for the location uh, of the cylinder hole to be. If you start going to each hole, okay, and you put a, a boring bar down it, and then you uh, and then you use that as your reference point. What happens is, is you've got now eight different datums. Okay, so there's not an absolute zero. Each hole is centered off itself. Well, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the hole is centered off the crankshaft itself. Okay, so that may not, for instance, uh, if we plug these numbers in and we probe these numbers, these are actual probe numbers. These are our blueprint numbers. This is the difference of our of our numbers. Okay. So these are the numbers off this, uh, off this screen up here. That's our blueprint. This is our probed. And that, this is actually what we got, and this is what the difference of the two are. Now, the one I'm most concerned about is the Y-axis, okay? It's basically uh, what runs up and down like this. Side to side doesn't bother me too much because there's a lot of clearance. You know, there's a lot of difference. you got rod clearance or 16,000, 7-inch rod. Wrist pin, there's a lot of things that can move. But if I can... If I can um, Make the y-axis in the center of the hole, so that the connecting rod, when it becomes top, when it comes to top dead center, uh, it's as close to center, perfectly center of that hole as it can. I have a greater mechanical mechanical advantage over the crankshaft, so that my crank angle uh, should be uh, at a better angle to produce power. Okay, and it makes the engine 
perform better, okay? Now, this block's not one that we found that's really a long ways out, but some of them you'd be surprised how bad off they are. This is the y-axis difference, okay? So as you can see, and I've already checked from the center to center, the center of this hole to the center of this hole to make sure that we're square in the machine, and we are. You can see that down here we have, uh, at the number four hole, your seven thousandths out, uh, which, like I said, is not much, not much enough to worry about. But what we can do when we blueprint bore is we're going to change the center of that hole, seven thousandths, and move it so that where it should be on our blueprint numbers, we're going to bore this number instead of boring the probe number. Okay. Now our probe, let me change that. Our probe number here. Now, that would be what we'd be doing if we were putting in a boring bar. Now, the reason why guys don't do that is because it takes a tremendous amount of time, especially if you don't have a way to probe it that quick. If you've got a Renishaw probe where you can run down and you can probe off the center of this hole and have a single datum off that hole and have everything zeroed off that, when you do it with a Renishaw probe, I can do this program and run the whole cycle as far as my probing. I can do it in 10 minutes, maybe 12 minutes, 15 minutes max. Uh, probably not even that much. But anyways, I can do that, and then I can center everything. And that's what we mean when we say block accurizing. So when we actually accurize a block or true up a block, this is what we're doing. We're changing the center line so that the center line of the hole of the of the uh, cylinder bore is directly uh, in center of the crankshaft. So these are some processes that we do different here and uh, something that you might, uh, might want to consider. This is what you're getting when you purchase a, uh, an engine from us or when you have any engine machining work done. Thanks for watching.